directions for your stamped flowers. Remember your name and teacher code. You're going to use a paper towel roll that is cut to stamp your flowers. To get your paper towel roll ready for stamping, you're gently going to pat it around in the color of paint. You're starting with just one paint color at a time. Be very gentle and you turn it until you notice that there's paint on all the parts of the cardboard or most of it. And then when you add it to your paper, gently pat it around and turn it, slowly turn it so that you're keeping the middle part of your flower black. Don't switch colors until you're all done with the one color because otherwise we'll end up with only one color because then they start to mix. Yet again, you're going to very gently pat around the paper towel roll and gently again stamp it on your paper and turn it kind of back and forth to keep the middle part of your flower black. After you've done two or three flowers, you can switch colors. It's okay if the other color is still on your piece of cardboard. Same exact process. We have to be really gentle while we're doing this or it probably won't work out very well. You're gonna do two or three more the same way. And if they overlap, meaning it looks like one flower is on top of the other, that's okay. That's a really, really cool effect. And it's also okay if the petals of your flowers go off the edge of the paper too. Also a really, really neat effect to add to our paper. Then if you have any remaining spots that are kind of really open, then you're going to do part of flowers going off the edge. And your paper should be mostly full of different colored flowers. For the final step, you'll use a cotton swab to gently dot yellow dots in the middle of each of your flowers. I would say about 10 dots is a good amount of dots to put in there. Make sure you're being gentle and make sure that you're dipping your cotton swab so you don't run out of paint. You want your paint to be pretty vibrant. If we don't dip it, then it's not as bright. Go ahead and do this to all of the middles of your flowers. And when you're done, you can place your cotton swab back in the black tray and then carefully take your artwork to the drying rack.